This presentation will describe a vignette developed as part of the EPSRC funded all-in-one project. It is entitled The Human Circulatory System Analogy for a Future City Utility Infrastructure. Let's begin with a simple question. What similarities exist between the cells of a body and the houses of an urban community? The cell is the basic structural unit of the biological body. Its needs are supplied by the capillaries and blood vessels. A house is the basic functional unit of the urban body. Its needs are supplied by networks of infrastructure. Both cells and houses consume energy and water, and produce waste byproducts which must be removed. This connection is also etymological, the word cell is derived from the Latin word cellula, meaning a small room or house. The human circulatory system, then, can be seen as the irreplaceable natural infrastructure which provides all the resources and, and services required by the cell. By comparison, a city has a number of different discrete infrastructures which, in combination, satisfy the requirements of the household. These similarities suggested the human circulatory system as an analogy for the infrastructure systems of a future city, which we expanded into our bio-inspired vision. City Blood The key question posed by this vignette is, could it be possible to distribute a combination of water and energy materials combined in a single pipeline network, much as our bloodstreams do for our cells? The next question should be would emerging technologies enable us to use an existing urban water network as the infrastructure for this urban circulatory system? We believe that it could, but only if certain scientific or technological developments take place. Our confidence in the idea is based upon the ubiquity of the biological circulation system it resembles, a solution that has evolved over millions of years, and which perfectly performs multiple functions. Retooling the existing water infrastructure with some simple modifications suggests that the huge investment expense of building the system from scratch. In our suggested system, the carrier liquid, the city blood of our analogy, will be predominantly water, so it can be pumped using the same systems that are in use today. In each receptor site, each household, the city blood will be filtered, leaving clean potable water for human use. This filtration process, much like that performed by the membranes of a cell, will remove the energy carrier from the city blood. New developments in biomimetic membrane technology offer high throughput with low energy consumption, but there are other mechanisms available, albeit more energy hungry. These include reverse osmosis, forward osmosis, membrane distillation and electrodialysis. The main challenge to realizing this vignette is the energy carrier, finding a way to distribute hydrogen and water, perhaps by using some sort of solid hydrogen carrier in solution. The energy carrier would be separated from the water at each receptor site, and the extracted hydrogen would then be deployed for energy production in fuel cells. The human circulatory system provides a model for this mechanism, so it is not as science fictional as it sounds. Red blood cells loaded with hydrogen and oxygen play a crucial role in biological energy distribution. They are suspended in the blood, and distributed around the body to fuel the living cells. The analogy can only be taken so far, of course. For example, in the human circulatory system the blood vessels also remove waste materials from the cells. 
we decided it was more pragmatic to deal with waste materials locally that is within the household or at small-scale wastewater processing plants. Mixing it with clean water in the same pipeline system would present serious sanitation and maintenance challenges.